We are excited to announce a significant update when working with John Deere guidance lines. Starting today, you're able to read guidance lines along with yield, coverage, and other job data from a John Deere GS3 or Gen 4 display and use those same lines on a Trimble display such as a TMX 2050 or GFX 750 or another third-party display of your liking. Let's explain a bit further how this works. There are two ways to bring John Deere data into Trimble X software. The first way is by going to Data Transfer, then to Upload. Here we can import data from a display by USB. The second way is by leveraging our API with John Deere Operations Center, allowing us to transfer data wirelessly. To do this, you must go to API Connections and set up the connection to JD Link. A few tips to know when working with John Deere guidance lines. First, if you want to transfer guidance lines from John Deere, you must use the Setup Builder in John Deere Operations Center to create a setup file that can be transferred to Trimblelag software. Now this file will synchronize to the web by the API so that lines will transfer smoothly along with other resources. Lastly, for those desktop users, formerly known as FarmWorks, you'll see these files in your inbox. If you want these guidance lines, it is simple. Just hit the process button and then they'll transfer over to your desktop software. Data that gets sent from a GS3 display, a 2600 or 2630, by the John Deere API will not automatically include guidance lines. To get guidance lines with job data, you'll need to go to the file manager screen on your display and choose to send guidance lines via data sync. If using the Gen 4 displays, the 4600 or 4640, lines will transfer over with jobs. These get passed on to Trimblelag software via the API one time at the end of each day. Now that we covered off on those helpful tips, let's go back to the API connection. As you can see here, we've already set up one for John Deere, but if you need to add your John Deere account, just go to Add Account and select JD Link. And once you do this, it will ask you for your John Deere credentials. And once you complete that step, the two will be combined together and data will start to flow from John Deere into Trimblelag software. So those guidance lines, coverage maps, and other types of data will start to appear into our software. To see this in more detail, we'll pick the home number one field and navigate to the guidance line tab. Here we can see the guidance line that was imported from John Deere Operations Center. Now we have the option to delete, rename, or offset the line. In this example, we want to create a new line based on the existing line and rename it. So we'll click on it and choose offset, type in the new name, enter the offset distance and the direction and now create our new line. Once this is complete, we'll do the last step and send it to our Trimble display. Going back to Manage Files, we'll click on Resource Exports. Here, we can create a resource file and select a particular display for sending the file. Since we're sending this to our Trimble GFX 750 display, we'll click that option. But note that we support a variety of third-party displays, including Ag Leader, CNH and John Deere and easily move guidance lines back and forth between all. The send to vehicle button is especially handy for sending these files wirelessly directly to a vehicle, assuming the Trimble display is wirelessly connected or if using the John Deere or CNH API connection. If you have any other questions about John Deere compatibility, please reach out to our sales or support team at 1-800-282-4103.